Hello students. In today's video, we are going to start chapter 3, Force and Pressure. In this, we are starting Unit 1, Turning Effect of Force and Pressure. First of all, we have to understand what is turning effect of force. Turning effect of force it's moments that uh, for example we use devices such as levers but in some circumst circumstances we need to prevent the turning effects of forces by balancing them with an opposite opposing moment so let's start with the turning effect of force and pressure in today's video we are going to study about the moment of force that is turning effect of force or moment of force factors on which moment depends torque pressure and examples based on pressure so let's start with the turning effect of force in physics, we can define that turning effect of force or moment of force. The turning effect of a single force about a fixed point is called the moment. Basically, it is based on the, it is dependent on the fixed point. For example, a door opening around a fixed hinge, a spanner turning around a fixed nut, turning of tooth wheel of a bicycle let me show you these examples by the diagram first one is the moment of force uh, means open uh, using a opening of door here you can see hinge already we have seen that uh, doors are fixed with the hinge so how this door rotates with this fixed point with the hinge so this is moment of force or here we use the turning effect of force about a fixed point that is hinge and where we apply the force on handle here on the handle we push the door we pull the door by the handle we apply force next example is spanner which is used to loosen a nut see this is the handle okay here we apply the force and here this is the fixed point about which this handle can move so this handle or this spanner can rotate about the fixed point that fixed point is this one on the we we need to fix this spanner on this nut then only it can rotate in this direction or in that direction next example is the turning of tooth wheel of a bicycle again how it moves with the fixed point that is axle or with the uh, th this axle is fixed with the foot pedal so about this point this chain or we can say this wheel of the bicycle can turn around can move so this point in this case is called the fixed point about which it rotates this is also the example of moment of force there are many more examples of mo moment of force now there are some factors on which moment of force depends first one is force applied here by this door i can show you force applied when if we need to push or pull the door we need to apply the force on this handle by this handle we can uh, open the door we can push it we can pull it so it's all depend at depend that how much force we are applying on the uh, handle 
so force applied and the third one second one is the the perpendicular distance from the fixed point to the line of action of the force so how much force we need to apply that also depends on the distance this distance this point to this hinge this is the perpendicular distance so applied force and on this distance in these two points this moment of force depends expression which is used for the moment of force moment is equals to force into displacement or the perpendicular distance where f stands for the applied force d stands for the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force of pivot or the fixed point okay what will be the unit of moment of force unit of force is newton unit of distance is meter then the unit of moment of force will, will be newton meter you can denote it by the capital n and small m newton meter torque a pair of equal si sized turning forces action in different directions is called a couple and the turning moment caused by the couple is called the torque see the forces in a couple always act in exactly opposite directions and are equal from the center of the rotation when a single force is used to turn an object about its axis the moment of that force is also referred to as a torque let me show you some of the examples of the torque see according to the definition there is a pair of force means two forces are there pair of force means that are two forces we are we need to apply here equal size force is of equal sized but the direction is different see turning of a uh, that a turning a water tap we need to apply to open or to close it to we need to turn it so we need to apply the force in the different direction anti clockwise and uh, clockwise of the same size tighten the uh, that a uh, cap of the bottle when we need to open the cap of the bottle or close it, close it we need to apply the same size force but the, to open it and to and to close it we need to apply the force in the two different directions anti clockwise and the clockwise like this third one is turning a key in a lock same we need to apply the same size of force but the direction is different turning a uh, 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 that a uh, steering wheel that also in that uh, we need to apply the force of the same size but the direction is different clockwise and anti clockwise so these are the examples of torque in which we need to apply a pair of equal sized turning forces which are acting in different directions this is the reason it is called a couple couple means pair pair of force and the turning moment caused by a couple is called the torque next one is pressure the effect of force on a given area is called the pressure we can define the compressive force acting per unit area is called the pressure we can formulate the pressure by p is equal to or the pressure is equal to force upon area where force stands for f and and sorry f stands for force a stands for area p is equal to f upon a unit of the pressure 
we can find by the unit of the force and the unit of area unit of force is newton and the unit of area is meter square that will be newton per meter square also this newton per meter square is called pascal in honor of that blaise pascal here some of the examples which are based on pressure in this figure you can see that a camel is there see all these examples which are based on pressure are depend on the formula see formula of the pressure is equals to force upon area by this what we are getting pressure is directly proportional to force means if uh, that uh, will apply will apply more force force will increase then in that case also pressure will increase and pressure is inversely proportional to cross sectional area means if there is less area pressure will be will increase and there is uh, that uh, uh, area is greater in that case pressure will decrease means the relation is pressure is directly proportional to force and pressure is inversely proportional to area so these all examples which we are going to study here are based on this formula or based on this relation that pressure is directly proportional to area where there is greater area in that case that pressure is less and vice versa see a camel can easily cross the desert as compared to a horse or a donkey because reason the camel exerts very small pressure on the ground as it has very broad feet small uh, pressure why because the broad feet it is for the same reason that an elephant can walk in any kind of ground because its feet area is very large area is large and hence pressure on the ground is very small so these are the example when area is less and the pressure is greater second one is rear wheels of buses or trucks are provided with double wheels it is because most of the weight of these wheels is towards their rear axle to prevent tires from sinking in ground or to prevent damage to the roads double wheels are provided the double wheels increases the area of cross section and hence decreases the pressure by the relation relation of inversely proportional it is for the same reason that tank trailers are provided with provided with 16 wheels or more similarly army tank by itself is meant to move over broad steel tracks rather than on the wheels as the broad tracks increases the area of cross section and reduce the pressure on the ground and next one is the rear wheels of the tractors are made very wide as the tractors are supposed to work on the soft ground small wheels can sink in the soft ground but the broad tires decreases pressure on the ground and hence help the tractors to move in the field easily this is the reason here you can see that uh, skiers the skiers use flat and log skis to slide on the snow because the larger the area of cross section and the less the pressure on the snow this is the reason that they can easily slide over snow without sinking his feet in the ground it is for the same reason that sledges are never provided with the wheels because the wheels increases pressure on the snow 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फाउंडेशंस ऑफ हाई राइज बिल्डिंग्स दैट आर कैप्ड वेरी वाइड सो दैट दे डो नॉट सिंक अंडर द एक्सट्रीमली हाई प्रेशर ऑफ द बिल्डिंग्स वाइड मीन्स क्रॉस दैट क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज अबाउट कटिंग दैट कटिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दैट वी यूज दैट दैट ऑल दीज कटिंग टूल्स वी डेली यूज इन आर होम सच इज दैट नाइफ्स ब्लेड्स दीज आर शार्पंट फ्रॉम कटिंग एज एज द कटिंग एज इज शार्पंट द एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल डिक्रीजेस and hence the pressure exerted by them increases this is the reason they can easily penetrate a given surface it is for the same reason that drawing pin is cap broad from the thumb side but very sharp from the pin side the broader thumb that uh, reduces pressure on the thumb but sharp pin tip increases the pressure on the wooden board hence it can easily penetrate it so these all are the examples of pressure